Hey, what's going on? Joe Coffey here for PremierGuitar.com. We're in Irwindale, California to check out a new product from uh, Avid and DigiDesign. It's the uh, Avid Presents DigiDesign 11 Rack. It's a badass product and we're here with Sean to tell you more about it. Now, Sean, this is a big, big product rollout for you guys. A lot of people are familiar with uh, 11, but this is a hardwire version of it and you could take it anywhere you could take it to a live gig and have all your recorded tones right there at your fingertips. Right, very different products. So basically it's three products in one. That's kind of what we're saying. You've got a DSP accelerated Pro Tools LE interface, an all-in-one reamping solution, and also a standalone effects processor as well. So basically you've got uh, your output amp jacks here, you have your headphone jack there, you have your guitar input which is our Truzy impedance matching input there. You have the mic preamp there that has both a pad and a 48 volt phantom, phantom power uh, connection on it as well. And you have all of the virtual knobs here. So these guys will light up amber to show you that that's where the preset is. But if you move one away from the preset, you see that it turns red to let you know that you've changed a parameter from a preset. And if you use one of the effects presets, it will be green until you move that away. And then as soon as you move that parameter away, it turns red once again to let you know that you've changed something from whatever the preset is with a store value. So this is the 11-rack librarian window. So this is going to show you everything loaded inside the 11-rack. This is the signal chain right here and you can drag anything anywhere you want it to. So if you want to use um, compressor before distortion, it sounds obviously different than distortion after, so, uh, or distortion before rather. So you can turn on, uh, you've got a bunch of different modulation effects, a bunch of different delay effects. You have three different distortion pedals should be fairly obvious what they are from the pictures, I would think. And um, yes, you also have a whole librarian section where you can decide where you embed the rig settings when you're recording stuff, if you want to. You can choose what outputs uh, are being used and what inputs are being used. The input to the rig, including reamping. So pretty cool. Well, you have your XLR outputs here, and then you've got your, uh, your, your line inputs here, which can be both plus four or negative 10. You have your effects loop here, which is, remember, modifiable, meaning you can move it to about four or five different places in the signal chain, and it will accept both the level of pedals and also line level signals. You have your output to amp jack, the second one there, your uh, M1, D1, or your MIDI outputs <laughs> there, uh, inputs and outputs, that's MIDI for the folks at home. You have your expression pedal and your external foot switch jack, which you can use for the wah, the volume, uh, the rig volume or a very very cool feature where you can tie up to four parameters at once to the pedal and do some some preset morphing which is cool and then you have uh, AESCBU and SPDIF digital inputs and outputs and finally your USPA cable this is USB 2.0 so uh, that would be where you connect it if you wanted to attach it to a computer so uh, you have DSP inside of there that all of the amps and cabinets and microphones and effects emulations are running off of and what that means is when you're using it with Pro Tools even in low latency monitoring mode you can still hear all of your amps and effects because they're all running off of the DSPs instead of the computer. So you can take it out and use it live, you can use the exact same presets both in the studio and in, uh, on your live gig back and forth, uh, very very easy to do and it's fully controllable with both foot pedals and uh, continuous controllers. And things. Let's talk about the input. Th this is this is amazing. Premier guitar readers, especially, will will just get off on this. A lot of guitars have different pickups, different uh, signals coming in. A lot of the problems that some people have with playing, you know, uh, w with a DAW trying to lay down tracks, it just won't feel right. Uh, it won't accept the signal the way you wish it would. Latency there, a lot of things involved there. Talk about the input. Well, basically, uh, what we wanted to do was make sure that with this box, um, for the first time, we were able to mate the, uh, the DSP algorithms that are inside 11 with an analog component that really made it feel like a real amp. So we're calling this a true Z circuit. And what it basically means is it will do uh, impedance matching so that no matter what amplifiers or effects or uh, everything that's in your signal chain, the analog input will update the impedance that the guitar sees when you change those effects. So if you move the fuzz in front of the volume, it's actually going to feel different to the guitar and it's going to update that in the real world. So it's not using a DSP algorithm to do that. It's using real relays, real um, capacitors and resistors to do that. So you can, you can sort of dial those values manually if you want or just let it always update it and make it so, so it's really like the real gear. 
All right, when it comes to reamping, uh, nothing can approach this as far as what I've seen before. Ta talk about all the options there. Well, you have the ability to do two types of reamping with this box. So you have um, a situation where you can reamp 100% virtually, meaning that you use only the algorithms that are inside the box, or you can incorporate a two power amp uh, speaker cabinets and real microphones using the onboard preamp as well to do that. So there are uh, buses that run between Pro Tools and the 11 rack. So you can record something in the, into the Pro Tools basically and then send it back through the 11 rack to re record a different result. So you can print a direct guitar track and a wet guitar track from the output of the rig at the same time. And if you want to, very, very cool, ladies and gentlemen, you can embed all of the settings in the rig inside one of those audio files and you can load those settings back into the rig at any time, even if you don't make a preset. So come back a month later and try to figure out how you got that sound. Literally just right click on the IO file, load the settings into the rig and you're done. I, I'm the worst note taker in the world. <laughs> so I can come back two months later and because there's no level setting on here, I have no reason to not be able to take the same guitar with the same pickup setting and the same volume knob setting and punch in two notes on a solo two months later because I can absolutely do that. It's the same sound. Well, you know, not only can you use all of the algorithms and, and amps and, and effects that are in this box if you want to, there's a, an effects loop built in that allows you to move it different places in the signal chain. So if you had a distortion pedal that you wanted to use in front of the amp, you can put the effects loop there and use it. If you had a multi-effects unit like a, you know, some sort of eclipse or some crazy, you know, powerful multi-effects unit that you wanted to use after the amp emulation, you can move the effects loop there. So we don't limit you to just using the stuff we were able to absolutely clone tone-wise. If you have a piece of gear that's really important to your personal sound, you can absolutely use it. Now, you should definitely go to uh, the website for uh, DigiDesign. What, what is that website? Uh, it's www.digidesign.com, and it's also on the M Audio site as well, www.m/audio.com. And uh, we'll have a bunch of videos up that you can watch. I'll show you how to reamp. We'll show you how to get some, uh, some, some tones down. We'll show you how to record and uh, talk about what the box is and uh, sort of take you through it. Do you have a couple of things you want to show us here? Well, so um, this right here, I think this preset, is one that uh, is, is in inspired by a very tall dude. And it's got a really, really nice, this is using one of the custom amps inside of uh, 11 Rack, actually, not one of the classic this, uh, amps that we encoded. This is one of the uh, original amps that doesn't exist in the real world. But uh, there are some amazing amps in here. You can see all the amps that are available in 11 um, as well as a bunch of effects that aren't. So you have effects units like uh, a really, really great phaser, an amazing rotational speaker, yes, a Univibe, and uh, you know that great C1 chorus that everyone still loves. One of the best sounding Echoplex uh, sort of uh, emulations I've ever heard in my life, along with uh, the classic uh, Bucket Brigade delay. No, that's not the Bell Biv DeVoe delay, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's not it. All right, Sean, tell me about the wall. So you basically have uh, a control voltage port on the back, which lets you use an expression pedal, and that can be set to either a volume pedal of some type or a wah. And we have two models. You've got the classic 95 wah in there, as well as a uh, more modern boutique-y shine wah. But it really does feel like the real deal. I mean, <laughs> Great. Pretty, pretty cool. So you can also use it as volume pedal. You can use it as uh, that volume pedal can be in front of the rig, in the middle of the rig, after the amp, all sorts of stuff. It's a really flexible way to use continuous controllers at the same time. Sean, what should we know about pricing? Basically, uh, it lists for $12.59, but uh, the way we've sort of put it together, you'll definitely be able to pick it up in a store for less than a grand by far. So uh, very, very affordable. Remember, it comes with Pro Tools software in the box. So standalone effects processor, all-in-one reamping solution, Pro Tools LE interface with DSP acceleration, and Pro Tools software built in for less than a grand. So very, very cool. If you had to sum this thing up, you know, how would you describe uh, 11 Rec? Uh, it is absolutely the ultimate solution, in my opinion, for the modern uh, sort of recording guitar player, because you can use it both on stage and in the studio with the exact same flexibility and sounds in both places. Very cool. All right. If you want to find out more, go to digidesign.com or mAudio.com. Right, exactly. Check out the videos. They go through everything. I'm Joe Coffey. You're watching PremierGuitar.com. Mm -hmm.